Ryan Brown from J. Ryan Brown Law. We did a video a while back about Adam Anderson, UGA linebacker, being accused of rape. Uh, there's been quite a few developments in that since then. Um, he was arrested. He turned himself in voluntarily, which is always a great idea if you have warrants. Once you've get, uh, you know, you have counsel, they can help you find out there's warrants. You turn yourself in voluntarily. Um, it, it, it helps for things like bond and all kinds of things. It's just what what you should do. Um, there was a bond hearing this week. He was granted a bond in the amount of $25,000. Um, I'm sure there are limitations on it, where he can go, what he can do, etc. cetera. But uh, does go to show that bond can be set on things like uh, a rape charge. Um, uh, another interesting development uh, that I'm sure uh, will be handled by his defense and investigated is there is apparently someone else that's making a claim that Mr. Anderson committed a similar act against them in the past. Uh, this brings up a, a, an issue of similar transactions uh, in criminal law where prosecutors will seek to admit similar transactions against you in your trial. So if Mr. Anderson has to stand trial for this rape, there will be litigation about whether or not to admit uh, the testimony or facts surrounding this similar transaction or prior act that's being alleged or claimed. Um, so those are big developments as it goes forward. But his lawyer has said this, and uh, I urge people to do this as well. And it's tough because uh, the allegations are serious. But um, you know we should give keep an open mind with folks and give uh, folks the benefit of uh, innocence, which the Constitution provides us, that unless and until someone's proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law, they are innocent. And, you know, the, the way that the media and stuff is now, that presumption of innocence can be eroded. Um, and, you know, I've made it my life goal to, to try to preserve that presumption. And uh, I hope that folks in the public will do the same. As for Mr. Anderson, it's very unfortunate that he, that uh, these allegations have been made. It's very unfortunate, uh, obviously, and terrible if it did happen to somebody. That's tragic and can never be uh, made right. Um, but at this point, we don't know. That's what we have courts and trials for. Um, and at this time, he is innocent unless he's proven otherwise.